lahat ng seaman mayaman. I was just earning 500 US dollars. Board KCC Fair TV. Now, if you're still new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and tap that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I post new videos. So, I made this video because a lot of my friends asked me how much I make as a seafarer. I also want to correct that mindset. But, seaman dama yaman da. No, guys, let me correct that for you. Hindi po lahat ng seaman mayaman. And the figures I'm going to mention in this video is just an approximate value kung magkano ba talaga yung kinikita ng seafarer according to their ranks. Each seafarer's salary varies from one ship type to another. Like for example, if you're sailing in a bulk carrier, magkaiba yung rate pag na tanker ships ka at magkaiba naman pag nasa cruise liners ka. And another topic that we are going to discuss today is kung ano yung journey ko as a seafarer. Ever since I started at Alpha as a deck cadet, until I became an ordinary seaman to junior officer to third officer. Or whenever I go to trainings or whenever I talk with uh, another seafarer, sinasabi na, oh, hindi ka naman na great things. No, guys, no great thing po ako. So if you're really interested to know more about me and my journey as a seafarer and how much I was earning back then, come and join me and let's begin. So I started my career way back 2014 as a deck cadet on board the crew pile planter. And during that time, I was just earning $500. Yes guys, $500. And earning $500 per month is too much for me guys. Because that is the first big money I ever received since I started working. At ano yung ginawa ko sa $500 na yun? Of course, I sent allotment to my parents and the others. I saved it. And all the money I saved during that time, I used it to finance my licensure exam and STCW course. For a lot of courses na kailangan mong kunin, prior you can get your license as an officer in charge navigational watch. And not just that, guys, because I stayed in Manila. And alam lahat ng mga si Paris that once you stay in Manila, and that is just because you still have to pay for your foods, board and lodging, pamasahe dito doon, pag reports sa office, and the trainings. What I saved as a decade that was not enough to finance everything. Luckily, I have my family who supported me all throughout my decade that journey up until I, no, up until now. Here is the very sad thing because after I signed up as a deck cadet, I was unemployed for 13 months. So meaning, wala akong kinikita. Nothing goes into my pocket. It was difficult for me to land a ship. I really don't know why. Maybe the luck was just against me or the odds just wasn't in my favor that time. What I did is that instead of feeling sorry about myself, I tried to look into the brighter side of life. Like probably hindi pa talaga yung time ko to go back and get the ship. After 13 months of being unemployed, I was lucky to be given a chance to join as an ordinary student my first rating job. <laughs> and during the time, I was earning $1,000. $1,000, guys. <laughs> first contract as a rating. So, uh, it was kind of hard because it was my first time to do the job as a rating. Because I was like, I'm not Since I was already earning a thousand dollars, I was very happy getting the thousand dollars. And what to do with that? Of course, the same thing I did when I was a deck cadet. I gave an allotment to my parents, and the other I saved it for myself for you know recreational purposes. <laughs> I see time for ratings or as an ordinary seaman, it's 16 months. So lahat na nagsasabi na hindi kami dumaan ng ratings or we're just very lucky because wow. mabili siya yung promotion wow. ng girls, hindi po. Since dalawang beses ako ng ordinary seaman, on my second contract, I was lucky because I got promoted to junior officer. And during the time, I was already earning 1,300! Yay! And 1,300, bago siya ginastog, ganun pa din, I sent a lot man, and the rest is history because ginamit niya for myself. And six months akong naghintay para magbigyan ng rate to sail as a third officer. 
bumalik lang ako sa dati kong barko kung saan ako naging junior officer and ordinary seaman. Yung first contract ko as a third officer, I learned a lot from it. Because I sailed with senior officers who really pushed me to do my best. Twenty months yung sea time ko as a third officer, and sa first contract ko, I was receiving more or less three thousand five hundred. Second contract, I was er already earning three thousand seven hundred that time. So imagine ang laki na din nun. My friends are very curious kung paano ko ginastos yung pera ko. I know that this is already an old tale, and this is no longer a secret to all of the people who knows me. That last 2011, we lost our house during the Typhoon Sendo. Guys, this is the aftermath of the Typhoon Sendo. Nawala lahat ng pinaghinapan ng parents ko. The very reason why I pursued shipping is that I want to help my family. I want to give them a better life. Yung life na hindi umaasa sa iba. During the Typhoon Sendong, we experienced to live in that city. I myself experienced it. We also experienced to live in basketball court. Alam mo yung pumipila ka para lang mabigyan ng relief goods. It's very tough times. And ayokong maulit yun. That's why I really pursued shipping and really worked hard to get to where I am today. I really pushed myself to my limits para naman gumanda yung buhay namin pamilya. Ngayon, the money I saved as an officer, I used it to build a house. Tinupad ko yung promise ko sa parents ko na bibigyan ko sila sa iyo. When you have a goal, you really have to set your focus. Hindi pwede yung madami ng restrictions sa life. Tamal naman yung mga restrictions sa life. Pero you have to set priorities. Alam mo kung ano yung paglalaanan mo ng pera mo pagkatapos mong ipunin yun. So, mentoron ako ng dalawang contracts as a third officer. And ngayon, I am on vacation. And I will still be sailing again as a third officer. On board again at Group Alta. It is COVID-19. Medyo yung rotation ng lineup is matagal. Kasi nga, there's COVID-19. So, ayun. Ngayon, naghihintay na lang ako. And since wala naman akong ginagawa, I shoot this video para magkaroon naman ng content yung YouTube ko. Actually, that is my goal. To grow also my YouTube account and to grow as a professional in the maritime sector. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and tap that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I post new videos.